the importance of water safety is being reinforced following yesterday's fatal jumping incident in Wellington Harbour. A man who jumped from a crane on a moored boat was found dead by the police dive squad after he failed to resurface. Water safety is reminding people safety is not just about skill, but also respecting the water and understanding the risk. Chief Executive Daniel Gerrard says the tragic incident brings up prior fatalities in 2015 and 1996. This is the third event that has occurred at the same crane in, in Wellington Harbour, so there needs to be some action with the owners and the council to stop this from occurring. The annual fishing competition at Doubtless Bay has caught the heat from local iwi who feel disrespected they weren't consulted. Some Ngāti Kahu members are blocking boat ramps at the far north event in what they say is a planned peaceful protest. Local council has supported the event going ahead but say the protest serves as a cause for awareness. Mayor Moko Tapania says they'll see how the weekend goes but will focus on finding a way forward. For us as the council who really support communities to host the event is to make sure that the event organisers across the whanau work with key community stakeholders, be that hapu, be that iwi, be that community groups and everything like that. Auckland's leaders say a year on from the anniversary floods, the recovery journey is still not over. A year ago, flash flooding killed four and caused almost $2 billion worth of damage. Council reporter Jacob Jones with more. Deputy Mayor Desley Simpson says the relentless weather has to be met with new flood mitigation measures and climate resilient urban planning. She says council has managed to secure $2 billion worth of investment in Auckland's storm recovery and resilience programme. Mayor Wayne Brown says the full recovery and building of resilience post floods will probably take around 10 years. The government is scrapping plans to allow 16-year-olds to vote in local elections. Local government minister Simeon Brown says they'll not be entertaining the previous government's voting age bill, calling it a costly distraction. That's despite a recommendation from the Independent Electoral Review that the voting age should be lowered. Political commentator Grant Duncan says it's clear they believe it will put them at a disadvantage. The reason for a Conservative of government can this idea is because they know perfectly well that people of the age of 16 and 17 are much less likely to vote for Conservative political party. Bus changes and road closures are expected in central Wellington today due to a protest. Protesters are expected to march from Civic Square to Parliament just after 11 this morning. Here's senior political reporter Sophie Trigger. Metlink says all buses travelling through the CBD will follow temporary diversions and use alternative routes as needed, affecting bus stops on Manor Street, Willis Street and Lambton Quay. It says it will aim to resume usual services as soon as it can. Passengers are being encouraged to allow extra time for travel and check the Metlink website and app.